Cleopatra. Cleopatra VI Philopater Greek. Cleopatra the Father Beloved, 69 BC, 10 August 30 BC, was queen of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt from 51 to 30 BC, and its last active ruler, a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty. She was a descendant of its founder Ptolemy I Soter, a Macedonian Greek general and companion of Alexander the Great. After the death of Cleopatra, Egypt became a province of the Roman Empire, marking the end of the last Hellenistic state in the Mediterranean and of the age that had lasted since the reign of Alexander BC. Her native language was Koine Greek, and she was the only Ptolemaic ruler to learn the Egyptian language queen of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt from 51 to 30 for other uses, See Cleopatra de Sambigation, epithet to nominical dritnert Mr. T. It's Cleopatra Neturit Mare at Itest Goddess Cleopatra, who is beloved of her father Horus, named Rertwit and its Tut in it Est Great One, sacred image of her father, born early 69, K. Alexandria, Ptolemaic King Dombid, August 30 BC, aged 39, Alexandria, Roman Egypt, Burial and Locate, tomb probably in Egypt, spouse at Ptolemy, XIII, Thes, Philopater, Ptolemy, Siv, Mark, Antonius, Cusarian, Alexander, Helios, Cleopatra, Selene, Eatoli, Philodol, Thustinus, Diptolemy, Father, Ptolemy, XII, all its mother, presumably Cleopatra, V. I. Tryphena, also known as Cleopatra, V. Tryphena, in 58 BC, Cleopatra presumably accompanied her father, Ptolemy, XII, Olatus, during his exile to Rome after a revolt in Egypt, the Roman client state allowed his rival daughter Berenice IV to claim his throne. Berenice was killed in 55 BC when Ptolemy returned to Egypt with Roman military assistance. When he died in 51 BC, the joint reign of Cleopatra and her brother Ptolemy XII began, but a falling out between them led to open civil war. After losing the 48 BC Battle of Pharsalus in Greece against his rival Julius Caesar, a Roman dictator and consul in Caesar's civil war, the Roman statesman Pompey fled to Egypt. Pompey had been a political ally of Ptolemy XII, but Ptolemy XII, at the urging of his court eunuchs, had Pompey ambushed and killed before Caesar arrived and occupied Alexandria. Caesar then attempted to reconcile the rival Ptolemaic siblings, but Ptolemy's chief advisor, Pafinos, viewed Caesar's terms as favoring Cleopatra, so his forces besieged her and Caesar at the palace. Shortly after the siege was lifted by reinforcements, Ptolemy XII died in the 47 BC Battle of the Nile, Cleopatra's half-sister Arsino IV was eventually exiled to Ephesus for her role in carrying out the siege. Caesar declared Cleopatra and her brother Ptolemy XIV joint rulers, but maintained a private affair with Cleopatra that produced a son, Caesarian. Cleopatra traveled to Rome as a client queen in 46 and 44 BC, where she stayed at Caesar's villa. After the assassinations of Caesar and on her orders Ptolemy XIV in 44 BC, she named Caesarian co-ruler as Ptolemyx in the Liberators, Civil War of B.C. Cleopatra sided with the Roman Second Triumvirate formed by Caesar's grand-nephew and heir Octavian, Mark Antony, and Marcus Aemilius Lepidus. After their meeting at Tarsos in 41 B.C., the queen had an affair with Antony. He carried out the execution of Arsino at her request and became increasingly reliant on Cleopatra for both funding and military aid during his invasions of the Parthian Empire and the Kingdom of Armenia. The donations of Alexandria declared their children Alexander Helios, Cleopatra Selene II, and Ptolemy Philadelphus rulers over various erstwhile territories under Antony's triumviral authority. This event, their marriage, and Antony's divorce of Octavian's sister Octavia Minor led to the final war of the Roman Republic, Octavian engaged in a war of propaganda, forced Antony's allies in the Roman Senate to flee Rome in 32 BC, and declared war on Cleopatra. After defeating Antony and Cleopatra's naval fleet at the 31 BC Battle of Actium, Octavian's forces invaded Egypt in 30 BC and defeated Antony, leading to Antony's suicide. When Cleopatra learned that Octavian planned to bring her to his Roman triumphal procession, she killed herself by poisoning. Contrary to the popular belief that she was bitten by an asp, Cleopatra's legacy survived in ancient and modern works of art. Roman historiography and Latin poetry produced a generally critical view of the queen that pervaded later medieval and Renaissance literature. In the visual arts, her ancient depictions include Roman busts, paintings, and sculptures, cameo carvings, and glass. 
Ptolemaic and Roman coinage, and reliefs, in Renaissance and Baroque art, she was the subject of many works including operas, paintings, poetry, sculptures, and theatrical dramas. She has become a pop culture icon of Egyptomania since the Victorian era, and in modern times, Cleopatra has appeared in the applied and fine arts, burlesque satire, Hollywood films, and brand images for commercial products. Ancestry See also, Cleopatra Race Controversialft, a Hellenistic bust of Ptolemy Isoter, now in the Louvre, Pars Rite, a bust of Seleucus Inicator, a Roman copy of a Greek original, from the villa of the Pacuri, Herculaneum, and now in the National Archaeological Museum, Naples a likely sculpture of Cleopatra v. Tryphena, also known as Cleopatra vi, 1st century BC, from Lower Egypt, now in the Mus Saint Raymond. Cleopatra belonged to the Macedonian Greek dynasty of the Ptolemies, their European origins tracing back to northern Greece, through her father, Ptolemy Xii Olatus, she was a descendant of two prominent companions of Alexander the Great of Maston, the general Ptolemy Isoter, founder of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, and Seleucus Thynicator, the Macedonian Greek founder of the Seleucid Empire of West Asia. While Cleopatra's paternal line can be traced, the identity of her mother is unknown. She was presumably the daughter of Cleopatra V. I. Tryphena, also known as Cleopatra V. Tryphena, the sister wife of Ptolemy Xii, who had previously given birth to their daughter Berenice of Cleopatra I. Sire, was the only member of the Ptolemaic dynasty known for certain to have introduced some non Greek ancestry. Her mother, Lattice III, was a daughter born to King Mithridates II of Pontus, a Persian of the Mithridatic dynasty, and his wife, Lattice, who had a mixed Greek Persian heritage. Cleopatra I. Sire's father, Antiochus II the Great, was a descendant of Queen Apama. The Sabian, Iranian wife of Seleucus Inicator, it is generally believed that the Ptolemies did not intermarry with native Egyptians. Michael Grant asserts that there is only one known Egyptian mistress of a Ptolemy and no known Egyptian wife of a Ptolemy, further arguing that Cleopatra probably did not have any Egyptian ancestry and would have described herself as Greek. Stacy Schiff writes that Cleopatra was a Macedonian Greek with some Persian ancestry arguing that it was rare for the Ptolemies to have an Egyptian mistress. Duane W. Roller speculates that Cleopatra could have been the daughter of a theoretical half-Macedonian Greek, half-Egyptian woman from Memphis in northern Egypt belonging to a family of priests dedicated to Ta'a hypothesis not generally accepted in scholarship, but contends that whatever Cleopatra's ancestry, she valued her Greek Ptolemaic heritage the most, Earl Bradford writes that Cleopatra challenged Rome not as an Egyptian woman but as a civilized Greek claims that Cleopatra was an illegitimate child never appeared in Roman propaganda against her. Strabo was the only ancient historian who claimed that Ptolemy Xi's children born after Berenice IV, including Cleopatra, were illegitimate. Cleopatra V or VI was expelled from the court of Ptolemy Xii in late 69 BC, a few months after the birth of Cleopatra, while Ptolemy Xi's three younger children were all born during the absence of his wife, the high degree of inbreeding among the Ptolemies is also illustrated by Cleopatra's immediate ancestry, of which a reconstruction is shown below. The family tree given below also lists Cleopatra v. Ptolemy Xi's wife as a daughter of Ptolemy X Alexander I and Berenice III, which would make her a cousin of her husband, Ptolemy XII, but she could have been a daughter of Ptolemy I X Lathiros, which would have made her a sister wife of Ptolemy XII instead. The confused accounts in ancient primary sources have also led scholars to number Ptolemy Xi's wife as either Cleopatra V or Cleopatra VI. The latter may have actually been a daughter of Ptolemy XII, and some use her as an indication that Cleopatra V had died in 69 BC rather than reappearing as a co-ruler with Berenice IV in 58 BC during Ptolemy Xi's exile in Rome.